beautiful. I love seeing the sun out and the birds and the budding of the flowers. Looking around Eden Park, it looks like spring's already here. Some bulbs have already bloomed and the trees are starting to bud too. It is lovely and it's gorgeous and the geese know it. They know they're happy, they're celebrating. But weather-wise, the next few days may not be a walk in the park. We could see a hard freeze for several days in a row after a warm stretch that's felt like spring. What I'm crossing my fingers is that it's only going to get really cold for a little bit before dawn and then the sun comes out. So it won't, it won't kill anything if it works that way. So that's what I'm kind of telling the universe it ought to do. With so many things already in bloom, we decided to talk to the head horticulturalist here at the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden about what it means for the plants to have this cold snap coming. Yeah, we're seeing trees and shrubs bloom three to four weeks ahead of time. When your garden takes up acres, you better know what you're talking about when it comes to plants. And Steve Fold says we don't have too much to worry about with this cold. The magnolia blooms that you're seeing out there, they're going to be mushy. Um, <laughs> so anytime it uh, freezes, those are going to be gone. But that doesn't hurt the tree. It doesn't hurt uh, most of the shrubs will be fine. Uh, all the tulips will be perfectly fine, daffodils. So, so really there's not going to be a whole lot of damage uh, right now. Now, if I were a fruit grower, it might be a different story. You may actually wind up with more time to enjoy the spring blooms because the cold will put the plants on pause for a few days. Where I think we were a month ahead, I think we'll only be about three, two to three weeks ahead once this cold spell gets through. Should you cover your plants to protect them? Steve says sometimes that causes more damage than it's worth, especially if we get snow. From the Cincinnati Zoo, Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5.